My name is Roberta Anding. I'm the Director of Sports Nutrition here at Texas Children's Hospital in the section of Adolescent and Sports Medicine. And I'm also the Sports Dietitian for your Houston Texans. As we make our first road playoff trip to Baltimore, we're going to share some tips on how we keep our athletes hydrated and well-fueled. And these tips are also going to be important for you as Texas Children's Hospital employees. we're going to do something different for the playoffs and actually our, new, our sports nutrition program is the same throughout the year because players love consistency. We have two lines at the Houston Texans. One is a lean line so if a player needs to lose body fat or if they have high cholesterol they eat from one side and then the players call the other side the fat side. For breakfast we have a, a customized omelet station because most players would rather have something fresh than something that's sat on the lines. And on the menu this morning, we had that. We had pancakes, we have waffles, big bowls of fruit salad, cottage cheese. Lunch might be something like a carved beef tenderloin with roasted potatoes, lots of fruits and vegetables, big salad bar. Dinner is on their own. So when they're not in the facility, a lot of it just depends on their cooking skills. If I have a player who really doesn't cook very well, they can do great with sandwiches at night, sandwiches, salad, and soup. If they go home and someone's cooking for them, it's going to be the same principles that they have at lunch. A really nice lean source of protein, some source of carbohydrate, rice, potatoes, bread, lots of fruits and vegetables. So if you're sitting out there at 6'2", 320, you really need to have a lot of fuel. So about 3,500 calories for a low, up to 7,000 calories a day. You can eat like a Texan, and the way that we design performance plates, and it's not only football performance, but workplace performance, workplace wellness, is you think about your plate, you draw an imaginary line down the middle of it, and 50% of that plate now belongs to me. 50% of that plate's fruits and vegetables. And when you do that, the other side of the plate is diluted in terms of its calories because half of your plate is low calorie foods. And so here at the pavilion, we have lots of great options. We have a fabulous salad bar. There's always a lean source of protein. So anybody can eat like a Texan, just scale back your portions a little bit.